What's going on? I decided I would show you around and just let you know every car I actually have right now. This is the basically, I guess, daily driver. I drive my other car more than this one just because I don't mess this one up. But yeah, it's a 2015 STI. Um, I've had it now for about a year. And this is a pretty fun car. I had a Mustang before this, and I like the Mustang, but that special little four doors here really helps out when you're just driving around going back and forth to whatever you're doing. It's got nameless muffler delete, some eBay little add-on piece. Cosmos wheels, uh, they're 18 by nine and a half plus 35 i think and some blue lugs they fit really good i think just a little bit of wheel poke out the side i run a achilles sport twos on almost everything i have there you can get a whole set for like 300 bucks and they really they seem to work really good Here's the interior. It's a launch edition, so it actually has blue interior instead of the normal red. So that's pretty cool. Has a little Sony radio in it we just put in. This has a little Kenwood powered subwoofer. I guess you can't really see it, it's down there. But I would not recommend it. It just, it doesn't really do a whole lot. My girlfriend actually bought me this little splitter thing here for my birthday last year, I think. And I bought this lip to go on top of it. And it's kind of, it's honestly fake, obviously, because it doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't go into the chassis because I ain't trying to run these all the way through my bumper and everything and I don't race so it doesn't matter. I did not realize how dirty my car was. I need to wash that very fast because Subaru bumpers have a bad problem of peeling as soon as the bug hits. But yeah, that's probably, the splitter and the wheels are definitely my favorite part of the car. Moving on to another one. This is why I'd say is really my daily driver. It's a 2005 G35. It's got eBay lowering springs. I think they're Manzo. Um, this eBay uh, Magic Drift lip here that really covers up my, my gigantic crack in the front bumper. That little nice zip tie job there. These wheels are a Brada BR. 10s, I think. I bought these used off the of Facebook Marketplace. The guy who had them actually wrecked the G37. He had them on and they were in his garage. So he sold me all four for a really good price. I couldn't really complain at all. I actually repainted them. These, The paint on these wheels are um, Dupacolor gold wheel paint. And it's holding up really good. I've had them for, had them painted for, I'd say, a year or more than a year probably now. And there's not a chip or scratch on them. So that's really cool. The rest of this car ain't really much to it to really talk about. It's even got stock exhaust. It's got 2006 tail lights, I guess. We could talk about that. And of course, the stickers because I don't know why. But we got this um, 350Z seats in it because my original seats didn't work because of the garbage Infinity Electronics. And this car was a piece of crap when I got it. It's automatic, makes everyday driving easy. And that's probably why the car was cheap. I actually traded a set of mustang wheels they are store brand wheels from i think late model restoration maybe or either american muscle i don't remember their sve wheels and i traded them i paid 300 dollars for the wheels and traded it for this 
it had a gigantic motor knock and the transmission slipped so i bought a transmission and engine for 700 and put it in so really even with these three-piece wheels on the car i only have like two grand in it so that's really sweet here's what the channel started with i don't know how many people have watched the old old videos from two years ago but this is my 240 it's not really much to it either it's kind of a piece of crap like every other 240 you know it's got i think these are xxrs i don't know they're some kind of cheap rep wheel there this back one has a crack in it so the tire's always flat but as you can tell i never really drive it it's got the ebay half and half tail lights and this hks high power exhaust that I had for a little while on it. It's really nice. It's probably nicer than this entire car is. But yeah, it's got its own little dents, dings, scratches, and just normal 240 stuff going on. I'll show you the inside here. Yeah, that's the inside. Got a big hole in the carpet. S14 seats front and back. The dash is actually in decent shape, a couple cracks, but for a 240, it's not that bad. But yeah, the interior is whatever, no air conditioning, so I don't never drive it in the summertime because it's just too hot here in Georgia. It's actually sitting on max peating rod coilovers, which is kind of like the meme coilovers of the car world. So that's pretty funny. I had my stocks struts blow out after like 250,000 miles and I didn't know if I wanted to sell their car or not. So I bought these two, I think I paid $170 for four max peating rod coilovers. So I'll probably do a review on those. They're really not that bad. They actually ride good. I don't know how good they'll hold up, but I haven't driven this car in two, three, four months. And I only driven them with the coilovers one time. So I don't really have that big of an opinion yet, but I mean, they seem perfectly fine for the price. It's actually a pretty insane price for it to even function to start with. This is the black Super you hear me referencing in the other Super videos. This is gonna be going up for sale really soon. As you can see, I pretty much robbed almost all the cool parts that's on the silver car off of this. This is the silver car's tail lights, and I realized that the centerpiece wouldn't actually go into an 89, so that was nice. So now it looks like a pile of turd which it already did anyway, but the car is actually really straight. The only thing that's really wrong with it is the paint actually really sucks. I don't know who baked this thing so much, but good God. I bought this Ranchero back there when I was like, I don't know, 12, 13. It's kinda, it's a weird car. It's a very weird car. I'm not gonna mess with it too much because it's probably snakes and crap all in it but this is it it's a big pile of trash big big pile of trash um it's got rust there got big boy holes in there there's like literally basketball sized rust holes in the bed it's got a 351 cleveland it ran two years ago i let it sit now it doesn't run there's no spark i don't know how to fix it so it's probably going to sit here for a long time dad has a 68 firebird back there this is also my dad's dodge dart that was mine and then it wasn't and i started trying to fix it and then decided not to because i got the supra um yeah it looks like garbage that firebird right there also is pretty ragged we actually have brand new floor plans for it but we had never put it on the plan for the Firebird is to one day put a LS out of a 90s um, or early 2000s Camaro or Firebird in it and make a resto mod, but plans never usually happen around here. This is a 73, I think, Duster. Um, it's actually, it looks nice, but it's ate up with rust. They painted over rust, which was awesome. It's got walls flying all around it, which is also very nice. Um, yeah, it runs, but won't move. It's stuck in park, 
we trade we initially had a 70 or a 81 dodge d150 truck that we traded for camaro that we traded for this yeah it would it's a good driver if it actually drove so i guess i don't know why i said that but yeah it's not that bad it's actually pretty nice other than the rust and it's been sitting here for like a year because we just haven't fixed it a polaris four-wheeler a klx 110 which is really fun a blaster which is a pile of junk and more junk a golf cart yay a kfx 450r which is running and it's actually pretty nice a crf 150 that i'll either get parted out or fixed or sold how it is because i'm very annoyed with it because every time i try to drive it it breaks a couple go-karts here whatever they're whatever they're cheap and whatever this is my dad's dart it's got a 318 it runs it's very loud has open headers but i don't know if it's running right now or not it's kind of hit or miss this is also my dad's 78 d100 that is for sale i don't know what price but it's for sale we don't want any more we just have too much stuff so it just really makes it difficult but here's the super everybody already knows about that it runs now not good but it runs i'll make an update video showing it running and all soon a Polaris four-wheeler, a couple Yamaha, YZ125, TTR125, a KX100 that needs a CDI, two 7MGEs, a KA24 DE for the 240 with a turbo. It's a ISR turbo, ISR manifold. I have everything to turbo it. It's FSR injectors, which I'll do one day, possibly. This is all my eBay parts. And this is a 72 Dodge Challenger that my dad and I got when I was 12 or 11 to fix up. And it's painted, but it's literally just a shell right now. We have everything to put it together, but we just haven't yet. And of course, the 2JZ. We also have a couple engines back here that I that are mine that I want to get rid of. It's a three, 360 Magnum out of a 90s Dodge truck. I was going to put in a Dart, but it... I bought it from a junkyard and took the head off and it's supposed to be a good runner and it had rust piled in all the cylinders which was just great and this is actually a uh, 306 which is a 302 ford from 94 that has 7,000 miles on the bottom end that i need to sell cheap because i don't want it anymore and a parts pile on the this is a 340 that we bought at a swap meet for a good price for a dodge but yeah, that's pretty much everything. If you saw anything that you want to see a video on, leave a comment because I really don't know what's going to do well and what actually people want to see. Uh, the Super does good. The rest of the stuff, not so much. I don't, my views are very low right now. So if you want to see a video of anything, definitely comment and subscribe so you actually see it when I post it. And. I mean, like I said, just if you see something you want to see, tell me, and I'll definitely make a video about it. And thanks for watching. This is really long and probably really boring, but I was just giving you an overview of everything that I have. So when I make references in future videos, you know what I'm talking about. So make sure to comment, like the video if you liked it. That makes me feel good, makes me want to post more. And definitely subscribe so you can see more of what is going on. We usually do something here about every week, working on something. So definitely stay around um i'll be trying to make my editing a little better i do everything on iMovie so that's why not everything's too great and everything's filmed on an iphone 10 but yeah thanks for watching